As you come to understand chemistry better, it becomes important to be able to um, have a deep conceptual understanding of how different compounds behave when they're dissolved in water. Um, in general, we've looked at two different types of compounds, ionic and covalent. Ionic, of course, are compounds that are um, cations and ions, anions that are held together with an electrostatic charge, whereas covalent compounds are molecules that are discrete um, and the individual atoms are um, held in place by uh, what we call covalent bonds or sharing of valence electrons. Now, in general, when we think of the ionic compounds uh, dissolving in solution, we recognize that the ions separate in solution and we have discrete uh, cations and anions uh, uh, dispersed within the solvent. In this case is an example of sodium chloride surrounded by um, water molecules. The chloride anions are surrounded by water molecules and the sodium cations are surrounded by molecules. In this uh, covalent example here we have the water molecules again and we have a crystal of sugar um, that is uh, dissolving and the sugar uh, molecules themselves are covalent uh, compounds and you see that the individual sugar molecules are dispersed amongst the water molecules um, here as well. The difference is that there's no uh, charges. These molecules are neutral. And what um, a distinction that was made a long time ago between different types of solutions are solutions in which the solute is classified as an electrolyte or the solute is classified as a non-electrolyte. In this example here, we see what we mean by that. Um, this is a, a image of a beaker with sodium chloride dissolved in it. Um, a battery is connected to um, a circuit, and um, when the light bulb lights up brightly, we know that there are mobile ions within the solution to carry the charge from one um, electrode to the other to complete the circuit. And when you dissolve um, ionic substances in a water, you will see the light bulb will light up like this. And in that case, we consider that solute to be an electrolyte. That's the term used to describe um, a solute that, when dissolved in water, will carry a charge. If we were to put sugar, in a covalent compound sugar, in this beaker, uh, such as sugar, the light bulb would not have lit, lit up no light, which means the circuit is not completed um, uh, across the water uh, because there are no uh, mobile charges to carry the charge through the water from one electrode to the other. In this case, those types of solutes that do not carry a charge are called non-electrolytes. Okay. Now the interesting thing is here is that um, with covalent com or excuse me ionic compounds, if they dissolve, they are going to be an electrolyte. However, for covalent compounds, some covalent compounds will um, exist as non-electrolytes, while other covalent compounds are capable of uh, producing a charge in water, carrying a charge, completing a circuit, and lighting up a light bulb. So in the next video, we'll look at um, the different types of compounds to understand why some covalent compounds are electrolytes and some are non-electrolytes and how to predict which is which.